wanted to give you a very short uh, rundown of how to calculate average frequency. In particular, I'm going to use the example that I've already shown within one of my classes. Um, so imagine this is your media schedule that you've created. Uh, we've got the months up here and what we've already included which media we actually want to use and specifically uh, I've added in exactly which uh, vehicles that I'm going to use for this um, and what I wanted to do was to show you perhaps more so how to calculate um, not just the total reach which is quite easy but the average uh, frequency and possibly even the percentage reach here. So what you'll need to note and what you'll need to enter in yourself is um, that how much how much reach you've got for each of your different media vehicles. So 20,000 for Instagram, Facebook, billboards, 10,000 and I've got 100,000 here um, for uh, NBC uh, for Arab Idol and NBC News. I'm going to also add this in here for now. Okay. So let's imagine I want to have a look at the uh, the January figures for the reach and also the average frequency. And I'm going to assume that these are all the same people that are watching Arab Idol, NBC News, etc. Okay. So what I want to do and what I suggest you do is you do a separate sheet and call this one your calculations. And from here, I'm just going to enter in the information that I had before. So for my January, and this is really just to show down, break down step by step. So I have Arab Idol, I had NBC News, I had Facebook, Instagram, these are the same companies, so I'm buying them same point and lastly I had my billboards so they were down shape okay so in January I know that a hundred thousand people are going to be watching Arab Idol each week I've also got two hundred thousand that are going to watch NBC News I am going to have 20,000 that I am going to target I'm going to set my limit for 20,000 Facebook and Instagram posts uh, paid posts and also my billboards there's about 10,000 people that come past let's say per week for that particular billboard so uh, what I want to do here is I want to first of all calculate my total reach okay for, for that particular uh, for those weeks so all I've got to do go to my sum and add that up. Now that's simple enough. That's going to give you my total reach for January, which is what you would actually end up putting in here. Okay, 330,000. Okay, next, I'll just delete these because they're incorrect now. Um, what I want to do is I want to go back to my calculations. I actually need to calculate average frequency. So to calculate average frequency, so here I've got my reach. I want my frequency for each of those different media. So Arab Idol, I think I've got four times NBC News, let's say four times in a week. Um, also Facebook and Instagram, we're going to do it eight times, so double the amount, and the billboards they're going to see ten times per week, so that's back and forth from work every day. Okay, so I cannot simply add up my frequency to get my average frequency and divide by four to get my frequency. The reason for this is that you can see that a lot more people are seeing it only four times compared to those who are actually seeing it uh, for a greater frequency. So we need to weight our frequency average based on the weight of how many people are seeing it for that frequency. So to do that what you need is a weight by that reach, percentage weight. Okay, so all you do to calculate that, a little bit like you do with your grades, you know, each uh, assignment is worth how much and you weight it by the, the score that you get. So what I know here is that 100,000 people are watching Arab Idol out of my total reach of 330. So to calculate my weight, it's simply that divided by that. 
into a percentage. It's 30.30%. Okay, and I can do something similar again by looking at my NBC News. So that equals 200,000 out of my 330,000. It's going to be double the amount, so 60, 60%. Okay, and lastly, I can do the same. What I can do is actually make that an absolute cell. And then if I pull that down, that should actually calculate for those two. All right. So you can really see that the weight of people that are going to be reached are significantly weighted towards the TV. Now, that's not often the case because TV is used for uh, gaining really wide reach. Now, so what we need to do to calculate our average frequency is to create that weighted average. So to create a weighted average, all you do is you say, okay, 30% of my reach of the people seeing my ad at least once are gonna see it four times. So my that times my weight, 30.3% times by my four. So the proportion of the ad, the, the frequency, okay, that is related to Arab Idol is, is what I've got here. This doesn't really mean too much except I'm going to add them all up, okay. Let's just put that down. So I can just pull that down. That would carry my um, formula over. And to get my average frequency, I, I add up all the proportions up. So my sum to get my total. So this is my average frequency. Now this makes sense because what we see is that, I mean, we wouldn't expect the average to be close to 10 or eight because there's much less people actually watching or seeing it eight to 10 times per week. There's a lot more people that are seeing it only four times. So the average is pulled down, the weighted average pulls that down to only 4.42. Now. What you need to do with this information is you need to compare that with um, what your what your what your objectives were. Now, if my reach is three hundred thirty thousand, but I know that there's a, my target population that I have is, say, for example, um, four hundred thousand. Okay then I know my percentage reach that I'm reaching of my target population for January is my 330,000 divided by 40,000. So it's 82.5%. Okay, so what I would do, oops, so I would look at my media schedule and I would say, right, my average frequency based on those calculations is 4.42. reach is 82.5 percent okay now the thing is I should have already created some objectives so if my objectives were I want a high reach objective of say uh, 90 percent of my target market and I want my frequency to be medium frequency, which is approximately, I mean, 12 is high, two to three times per month is low. So let's say around eight is a medium frequency. So eight times in four weeks, which is about a month. So if these were actually my objectives, what I need to do is I need to look and see, did I reach my objectives or am I planning? Is Does my plan, is it likely to reach my objectives? And you know, it's almost there for 90%, um, but my frequency is well off, right? So what I would think then from that is go, okay, well, maybe what I need to do is I need to change my frequency. Maybe I need to most of the people to be seeing my ad more. So what I might say is, well, rather than just putting my ad in Arab Idol, you know, uh, four times per week, you know, once per episode, perhaps, um, I'm actually going to double that amount. So I'm going to make it twice per the episodes that I have it in. So I'm going to change that to eight and I might do the same with my NBC news, put it in twice per um, news break that I, I normally advertise in. Oh, and what that does 
is actually increase my average frequency up to about eight, okay, which is my target. So the beauty of looking at this, these is really to look at and to plan to see whether I'm actually reaching my objectives. The other thing that I might want to consider is boosting up this reach. Now I might just do that with either adding another billboard or perhaps because Facebook and Instagram is so easy to um, increase or decrease, um, maybe during my campaign I can see how it goes and depending on whether my reach is met, I might actually decide to increase that. Let's say to 40,000 and oh, I'm getting closer to my mark possibly 50,000, which ends up equaling my 90%, which is what I wanted. Now, the beauty of Facebook and Instagram is you probably don't need to necessarily um, have that in there now, but you would probably put that in your plan um, and see how it goes along the way and adjust as you go. So that is how to calculate average frequency and also how to manage and to change your plan based on what you find relative to your objectives. I hope that helps.